All right, I'm ready to enter Vault 92. So I'm all prepared. So it seems like it must have taken ages for people to build the vault, especially if it's underground. be more careful. Alright so let's explore this place. I'm gonna start by heading this way. Just seems to be easy enemies at first, but there might be more difficult enemies on the way. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm just using a knife for now. There's no point in using very powerful weapons on these float flies. Ha! Right, I'm not sure what enemies the easiest, either like a bloatfly or a rad roach. Probably a bloatfly. Well, they can shoot at you, but I don't think rad roaches can. Seems to be a family of uh, Maya looks down here. Yeah, I'll probably need to use the incinerator to kill these. Oh. Ah. The Maya looks are pretty difficult to kill, them, and they do like a lot of damage. But yeah, I don't think there's like a death claw down here. Or I could use the minigun. Yeah, add a bit I'll add a bit of psycho so I do a bit more damage. Yeah, minigun is a very good weapon to use on pretty much anything. I think the Myalur Kings are the most difficult type of Myalurks to kill. Yeah, you get the most XP from killing, uh, killing them anyway. So all these lockers seem to be empty. Yeah, most most like uh, lockers or like containers may be empty. You know, if there's been people down this vault in the past. 
you know, about like 200 years ago, they probably would have used up most of the supplies. So there might just be very few left. I've still got like a chance in finding something though. Alright, I've only been down here for about five minutes and already this vault seems to be pretty big. Yeah, let's see where this goes. Right, I'm probably going to run out of min uh, minigun ammo, so yeah, I'll need to use the incinerator instead. Well, the heavy incinerator, which I got from the Enclave. Yeah, it probably does a bit more damage than the minigun. Because, like, if you attack a target with the incinerator, I think it continues to burn the target, so it does, like, a bit of add additional damage afterwards. Right, don't tell me the jukebox still works. Right, I'm not going to play anything, though. Right, I'll probably be level 24 by the time I leave this vault. Yep, a lot of useful supplies. Right, I hope I can open this. I've only got one more bobby pin left, so... Yeah, good. Just I thought it was going to break there. I'll have to be like very careful with it. I could still like force the lock to open, but you know it could end up breaking the lock. Well, that's unless I find any more bobby pins down here, which hopefully I will. Right, I'm going to listen to this professor. Mallows, I think it is. The audio log. I believe what I've discovered. Just before he died, one of the security team members told me everything. The Overseer has been implanting these murderous intentions in the entire vault population without my knowledge. He's in the loudspeakers of the dorms instead of just the studios. He subjected everyone to the white noise as they slept. He then implanted combat suggestions he claims came from vault Tech itself. He... he must be completely insane. No observation, no controls. I'm going to have to confront him now, and make him pay for what he's done. Half the vault is dead. The other half, fighting for its life. Oh. Good luck to all of us. And may God have mercy on our souls. So it seems like the vault population must have died gradually. So not all at once. Alright, let's see what's in here. Right, it's no use to me now. Yeah, it seems pretty weird how the place has been abandoned for about 200 years. And you know, like, I'm um, suddenly exploring it and, like, trying to find out what happened. That's if I do find out what happened. Just, I think all the different vaults in the wasteland will have slightly different stories. So, you know, some people might have left, but, like, others might have died out.
This must be like the shop in the vault. Just, I'm not sure if they had like money inside the vault or if they just got things for free. It must be strange though, just living in a vault, like being born in a vault and then dying in a vault, you know, just having an entire life like in such a small space. I just can't imagine it. Like, you know, I can't imagine somebody just living inside a man-made vault and, you know, never being able to go on the outside or not like ever being able to go out into space or anything. You know, they're like stuck in such a small area. Right, I'm gonna look for any more tapes, if I can find them. I'll probably not be able to collect all of them, but at least I can listen to a few. Alright, so this is normally where the Overseer is. We've been encouraged by the latest batch of data. It seems that 33% of the subjects are now lapsing into a trance-like state on occasion. When in this state, we're fairly certain that suggestion and programming of the subject can be applied. We've begun testing this by implanting subtle cues in affected subjects, making them scratch their ear or constantly fix their hair. So far, I'm happy to report a 100% success rate on this implementation method. <sighs> Disaster today. One of our test subjects, V920717, has murdered three other residents in a fit of unbridled rage, the likes of which I've never seen. It took almost 23 shots before the security team took him down. This subject has no history of violence or ability whatsoever. My concern is that this subject is one of our most successful implant recipients, able to execute complex instructions during a trance state. Alright, I'm not sure if this will take me downstairs. So yeah, I'm going even further into the vault. So I think this is normally where the main residents lived. Yeah, I've got plenty of fuel so I should be able to kill all of these enemies inside. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any sign of the Overseer. Alright, I'm going to level up shortly.